SNP MP John McNally has urged the Department for Work and Pensions DWP, to expand the eligibility criteria on means-tested cost-of-living payments to include people over state pension age in receipt of housing benefit or a council tax reduction. During DWP questions in the House of Commons earlier this week, the Falker Kemp he also highlighted many older people in his constituency are living below or on the poverty line adding some 2 million older people in the UK live below the poverty line, with many more hovering precariously above it. He said, research by Independent Age has shown older people are significantly struggling and urgently need additional cost of living support to help them through the coming winter. An estimated 11 million pensioner households are set to receive up to £600 over the next few weeks through the winter fuel payment to help with higher heating costs, the annual payment also includes the pensioner cost of living payment, worth either £150 or £300. Older people in receipt of pension credit may also qualify for the £300 cost of living payment which has been paid out to more than seven. 5 million people since October 31st and will continue until November 19th. Responding to his question, DWP Minister for Employment, Guy Opperman MP, standing in for the recently promoted Laura Trott MP, who has now moved to the Treasury, said, the reality of the situation is that April saw the biggest ever rise in the state pension, by 10. 1 percent, thanks to the triple lock. Every pensioner is entitled to a winter fuel payment and will receive a cost of living payment this winter. The poorest pensioners will receive a £900 further cost of living payment. £300 cost of living payment Some 1.4 million older people across Great Britain, including more than 127,000 living in Scotland currently in receipt of pension credit will receive the £300 cost of living payment before November 19, 2023. However, it also means new claims for pension credit made before December 10, which later turn out to be successful, will also qualify for the £300 payment, even if their benefit award is just a few pence. This is because pension credit is a retrospective benefit that can be backdated by up to three months. The qualifying period for the £300 cost of living payment is between August 18 and September 17. Pension credit In a nutshell pension credit gives people extra money to help with their living costs if they are over state pension age and on a low income. It can also provide access to a range of other benefits. Pension credit tops up a person's income to a minimum of £201.05 per week for single pensioners and £306.85 for couples, or more if a person has a disability or caring responsibilities. Who should check for pension credit? If you are over 65 and reached state pension age before April 6, 2016, you could still qualify for pension credit if your weekly income is less than £240. 90 if you are single £351.45 if you are a couple other help if you get pension credit if you qualify for pension credit you can also get other help such as, housing benefit if you rent the property you live in support for mortgage interest if you own the property you live in council tax discount free TV license if you are aged 75 or over help with NHS dental treatment, glasses and transport costs for hospital appointments help with your heating costs through the warm home discount scheme a discount on the Royal Mail redirection service if you are moving house mixed aged older couples and pension credit in May 2019. The law changed so a mixed-age couple, a couple where one partner is of state pension age and the other is under it, are considered to be a working-age couple when checking entitlement to means-tested benefits. This means they cannot claim pension credit or pension age housing benefit until they are both state pension age. 
before this DWP change, a mixed-age couple could be eligible to claim the more generous state pension age benefits when just one of them reached state pension age. How to use the pension credit calculator to use the calculator on Gov. UK, you will need details of, earnings, benefits and pension savings and investments you'll need the same details for your partner if you have one. You will be presented by a series of questions with multiple choice answer options. This includes, your date of birth your residential status where in the UK you live whether you are registered blind which benefits you currently receive how much you receive each week for any benefits you get whether someone is paid carers allowance to look after you how much you get each week from pensions, state pension, private and work pensions any employment earnings any savings, investments or bones you have once you have answered these questions, a summary screen shows your responses, allowing you to go back and change any any answers before submitting. The pension credit calculator then displays how much benefit you could receive each week. All you have to do then is follow the link to the application page to find out exactly what you will get from the DWP, including access to other financial support. There's also an option to print off the answers you give using the calculator tool to help you complete the application form quicker without having to look out the same details again. Try the pension credit calculator for yourself or your family member to make sure you're receiving all the financial support you are entitled to claim. Who cannot use the pension credit calculator? You cannot use the calculator if you or your partner, are deferring your state pension own more than one property are self-employed have housing costs, such as service charges or crown tenant rent, which are neither mortgage repayments nor rent covered by housing benefit how to make a claim you can start your application up to four months before you reach state pension age. You can claim any time after you reach state pension age but your claim can only be backdated for three months. This means you can get up to three months of pension credit in your first payment if you were eligible during that time. You will need, your national insurance number information about your income, savings and investments your bank account details, if you're applying by phone or by post if you're backdating your claim, you'll need details of your income, savings and investments on the date you want your claim to start. Get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our record money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at recordmoney underscore for regular updates throughout the day. Apply online You can use the online service if, you have already claimed your state pension There are no children or young people included in your claim to check your entitlement, phone the pension credit helpline on 0800 1234 or use the Gov. UK Pension Credit Calculator here to find out how much you could get. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.